Hey, what you doing? Come sit with me. Let's vibe. Vibe ting. No. You guys smell good. Mm, essential oils. Just getting the energy, the energy, the energy. Our highest form of nutrition is in our expression. I truly believe that. I embody that. I believe expressing ourselves, creativity is food for the soul. And I do not believe that there are non-creative individuals. I hear people say that being like, oh, I'm not the creative type, but it's not true. Yes, some people kind of have natural talents, like, you know, they have, they have the voice to sing, but they still have to fine tune that and master that craft. But creativity is a muscle right like nobody just has big physical muscles or like you understand you got to go to the gym and work out your body and the same thing goes with our creativity it's a muscle it's actually a discipline and you discipline yourself so you can be able to flow and to me it's actually like a requirement for personal development i have learned more about myself from creativity than i have from any book from any other person but my creative expression diving into the process i've learned more about myself i've always said it's like my creative process is like prayer it's like a, it's like a devotion it's like a spiritual practice it's a personal development tool and i want to see as many people create because your mind has tricked you you understand like your mind has tricked you into thinking that you're not that creative your mind has tricked you into thinking that it's not worth it or you don't have the time or the resources but your mind tricks you why because your mind knows how powerful you are right your mind knows that within you a seed was planted and within that seed oh do you know what's what do you know what is within there everything you need to fulfill your destiny strength resilience creativity <sighs> ideas passion purpose you understand love compassion everything you need to express yourself my friend is already within you but our mind tricks us into procrastination and then we freeze we stop and we find ourselves in a space where we don't feel like ourselves or we're just not as vibrant as we would be and then we're comparing ourselves to all these highly creative people who are really just people who work their creative muscles out you understand and to me creating something every single day has been my discipline you understand i do something every single day for my soul even if it's just 10 minutes like make a quick beat like we just did you understand just to get the energy and motion and i want to see all of us all of us really dive in and have that experience with ourselves I was, uh, I saw a clip by Pharrell and I love Pharrell, you know, highly creative individual music, um, singing, you know, scoring. And he said, make the music. Don't stop making music. Don't, don't think that you're going to hold off. Cause let me explain something to you. Creativity is not coming out of you. Creativity is like the work of the universe. The universe, that's why they call them universities. The universe is a library. I was just telling somebody this yesterday. All we doing is checking ideas out. We can pretend that we being possessive, it was here before us, it's gonna be here after us. We just checking ideas mm. out, right? Mm, 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 and mm. what you would have checked out on one day might not be what you would check out on the next day. So don't not make the music. Well, you got a library card that works, you use that card every day. So you see, he said, creativity is this thing that flows through us, you understand? It's like how I always say, we don't have ideas, ideas have us. So we have to put ourselves in the position to be able to receive. 
So if you procrastinate and you don't go create because you're waiting for the perfect moment, you're actually missing out on opportunities every single day to receive ideas. And the problem is we judge ideas too much. We'll be like, oh, is that the right idea? Go with it. You understand? Go with it. Give ideas grace. Give them the opportunity to grow. Some of my worst ideas actually became my best ideas. Some of my ideas that I thought were really good didn't quite work out. That's the beauty of the creative process. Sometimes you just don't know. If you saw a baby that was like one years old, you wouldn't say to the baby, ah, oh, you can't run. You can't jump. Like you, you can't touch the rim at the basketball hoop. No, you understand it's a baby and the baby's got to grow. And same things, same thing goes with your ideas. You have to allow them to grow. You understand? Give them your energy, your essence and get used to failure. I saw Grimes say something in this interview and she was like, Don't think we spend enough time teaching creativity. And I think creativity is a muscle like other things. And there's a lot of emphasis on, you know, learn how to play the piano and then you can write a song or like learn the technical stuff and then you, you can do a thing. It also sort of you're, if when you're being creative, you know, you're throwing paint at a wall and a lot of stuff will fail. So like part of it is a, like a tolerance for failure and humiliation. Like I think my greatest asset is my creativity. And I like, I think pain, like tolerance to failure is just a super essential thing that should be taught before other things. You need a high pain threshold to create. That's And again, that comes down to it's a muscle, right? If you're in the gym, what do you have to do? You have to literally push past the pain, tear your muscle a bit so it can grow. And the same thing with creativity. Let me tell you, like, as beautiful as like creations look and like, it, it's the process isn't like that. It's, it's like high stress, <laughs> chaotic at moments. You know, you doubt yourself. Oh my God, this sucks. Am I good enough? I'll never be good enough. And then boom, you catch an idea that's working. And now you're like, oh my God, I'm amazing. You're like, oh, we in the flow. Like, I love that ride because it allows me to embrace life. You understand? It mimics life. Life every single day isn't good. And the creative process isn't either. But when we commit to just creating and expressing ourselves in different ways, now we are in motion and opportunities may arise. You understand? Like, I love that I get to sit with y'all, have tea, and technically, like, this is my job. But only because I committed myself every single day to creating something to nourish myself. And creativity for me is a personal development tool. I actually created a course around using content creation as a personal development tool and how to tap in and bring our spirit, our true spirit to everything that we do. And I uploaded it on Skillshare, who is our sponsor for the day. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning like I do and wants to explore the creativity and learn new skills. And I believe we need to invest in ourselves, in our personal growth, in our creative abilities. I was interested in joining Skillshare because first off, I'm a, I'm a fan of learning and fine tuning my craft, which allows us to have a deeper understanding of our creativity and ourself. I've learned Learn from creators like Ali Abdal, Sorel, and in my course, we journey through creativity as a personal development tool. One good thing about Skillshare is it's ad free, so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring all these new skills. Plus, new premium classes launch every single week, so there's always something new to discover. So, no excuse not to try something out. So I would love for you to check out Skillshare, especially my course, because I believe our highest form of nutrition is in our expression. And that is what my course embodies is there to help you get started on your YouTube channel and your content creation and use it as a tool to become your best version of yourself. So I want to hook you up the first 1000 people to use the link in my description or use my code Heinz will get a one month free trial on Skillshare. Don't allow your mind to trick you into not trying new things either, right? Because trying something new is difficult. I recently just got into pottery and let me tell you, I'm thinking I'm gonna go do pottery and I'm gonna be like amazing. I'm like, I'm gonna go in there and make like some beautiful cups, you understand? Like beautiful, beautiful things, you know, I'm an artiste. Yo, that pottery wheel humbled me. <laughs> 
I suck. And as I'm like, at moments, I'm like, oh, this is fun. And then at moments, I'm stressing out. And then I realize it's really nice to just suck at something again. You know, like I've been doing video for 10 years. So I kind of like, and we're always getting better in video. We're always upping our production. But being brand new at something again, like a complete student is very humbling and there's so much opportunity. Like I always, always, always say, uncertainty has the spirit of a child because it has questions, it's curious, which means it's full of opportunity. And that's what it's like when we try something new in the creative field, you understand? Like when I'm doing pottery, I'm like, man, it's gonna take me a long time to get good. And I'm already learning things from that practice that I can apply to my current practices, you understand? Like every creative practice can teach you something different. And to me, I love having multiple, like video and sound are my main, but right now I'm in a space where I wanna learn from other creatives. I wanna learn from other practices and other mediums so I can bring that to what I do and have a wider perspective because I believe the more we create, the more we love ourselves, the more we're able to connect with others because sometimes there's things within ourselves that simply can't be explained and just talking, right? It's gotta be explained through music or through a drawing or through the way we design our home or the way we design our clothes or just the way we express ourselves every single day. Sometimes what we feel within ourselves, in our spirit has to be expressed through our art. So my friend, don't allow your mind to trick you. You are so much more creative than you give yourself credit for. You have the time to express yourself, to do things, and do not worry about what other people think. I think, you know, we get afraid to upload things and share things because we're like, oh, if they don't like it, you know, like this thing really embodies who I am. And if they don't like my art, that means they don't like me. And we take it so personal, right? But it's not like that. Like the things we make won't be for everybody, right? but they'll be for somebody. You know, when I started my channel, my my goal was always first just to express myself, you understand? It was like my video journal. And the next was as long as one person enjoys or receives some, receives some type of value from this, it's a success, right? It's a success. That was my goal. And because that was my goal, I really didn't trip up when I didn't have a lot of views or a lot of comments because at least every single video, someone would say, man, thank you, I really needed that. And when it comes to our creativity, we don't even have to share it. But I always say, you are a gift. You are a gift to this planet, you understand? And like, if you decide to share yourself, we will be so much in gratitude to experience you because who you are and your uniqueness and your essence is only one of you. And the way you look at things, the way you see things, the way you feel things, your touch, your individual touch that you can put onto things, it can only be done from you, you understand? And that's why I think it is so important that we live a creative life. And we have a free Discord group right now. And then in this Discord group, we just started a 21 uh, day journal challenge. But the next challenge is gonna be a creative challenge where we all try to do something creative every single day. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. <clears throat> Voice getting a little bit raspy. Uh, that's like the creative process right there, right? It gets a little rough sometimes. Wow. But we're going to be in the Discord group sharing our creative expressions for the day. Even if it's a little bit of a doodle, it could be a journal entry, you know, it could be a beat, you know, it could be a video, you know, it could be how someone designed their room for our day. We're just focusing on nurturing our spirit and, and, and diving into our best version of ourselves because me sitting in the editing process, watching myself and editing and adding music, I've I've learned the most in that position, you know? And I want as many people to have that experience because I realize it's meant for everybody. It's meant for everybody, right? Like we're all creative. We all have something that we can give to this world or something we can dive deep within ourselves to experience. So you are, a creative individual tell yourself that you understand like tell yourself i am creative you understand and i enjoy trying new things i enjoy the process i enjoy failing develop that high pain threshold right because creating is stressful 
but there is a breakthrough to come, right? A breakthrough always comes and it's so nourishing. For me right now, music is like the most nourishing thing. Um, I love it and I always made excuses in the past on like why I shouldn't make music or like, oh, I don't have classical training or I don't, I don't play actual instruments so I can't make music, I won't make good music, but it's like, no. No, 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 you love sound, you know how to play with sounds, just make it for the enjoyment of it, you understand? And I think every single one of us this year, there is so much opportunity as long as we are expressing ourselves as much as possible. So you don't know in hindsight, everything gonna be all right. Get creating and to be honest, I wanna get back to this beat. Bye. Bye.